Incredible TV, my five favorite shows of the 1960s. What a great time the 1960s 60s were to, to be a kid. We had the best music, in my opinion, the best movies, and the best television programs ever. It was a great decade. Here are my five favorite TV shows from the 1960s. Number five, The Green Hornet, starring Van Williams and Bruce Lee, well, bringing back uh, the comic radio and movie serial to life. Produced by the same team that gave us Adam West as Batman, The Green Hornet was a, a little more low-key and sophisticated, but who could resist that amazing car, the Black Beauty, and the uh, karate expertise of Bruce Lee. The Green Hornet and Batman both aired on ABC TV. There was even a crossover adventure where the dynamic duo and the Green Hornet went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And the Green Hornet um, had an awesome theme song, Flight of the Bumblebee, played by none other than the phenomenal Al Hurt. Number four is the perennial favorite that everyone still loves today, Fred Gwynn and Yvonne DiCarlo in The Munsters. What would be nor more normal in a suburban neighborhood of the 1960s than uh, well, the fa a family of uh, living dead from the old world Transylvania. The family consists of Herman Munster, a Frankenstein-type monster, the mother, Lily Munster, who is actually Dracula's daughter, as, uh, as uh, Grand Grandpa Munster is just that, the blood-sucking dude from old Transylvania, and who could forget Eddie Munster, his werewolf doll and pointy teeth. The weird one of the clan is Marilyn, the niece who is very uh, pretty and normal-looking. Much, of the, much to the grief of their family. The Munsters aired on CBS TV for two seasons from 1964 through 1966, uh, going to the treasure chest of uh, television with 70 episodes. Number three. Filled the gap for me because another classic uh, began airing on ABC TV, Batman, which became my favorite show at, at that particular time, nighttime anyways. Who could resist its campy concept and heavy um, use of costumed villains. Favorite of mine were the Penguin that was played by Burgess Meredith, the Joker brought to life by Sid C oh no, Cesar Romero, and Frank Gorshin and his portrayal of the Riddler, which by the way was at one time portrayed also by John Astin, who played uh, Gomez Adams on The Adams Family. The show was like watching a live action version of the comic book. Batman's partner Robin was played by Burt Ward. Batman ran for three seasons in a total of 120 action-packed episodes. A unique twist on programming had the show air in two parts um, on two different nights a week. I think it was Tuesday and Thursday for two seasons, then once a week for the final season. There were so many guest stars and cameo appearances that Batman was like a who's who of Hollywood at the time. Some of the other famous performers that appeared was, were Eartha Kitt and Julie Newmar, both uh, appearing as Catwoman. Jill St. John as the Riddler's Babe. Otto Preminger as Mr. Freeze and the awesome Jack Palance appeared also. Um, as did Vincent Price as Egghead. The last season introduced Batgirl, played by Yvonne Craig. Others who appeared were Joan Collins, uh, George Saunders, Eli Wallach, Carolyn Jones, who was Morticia Adams, not in the show, but I mean in the Adams family, Cliff Robertson, and Ann Baxter, some very classy Hollywood staples. There is a tie for number two spot, and both are loved as much, if not more, than during their initial run by me. The uh, the two shows are The Adams Family and, of course, Gilligan's Island. Now, there would have been a crazy crossover, to be sure. Gilligan's Island was taboo in my parents' house during its original run, but in retrospect, I now have watched the series at least a dozen times. I liked it so much that I did a, a fan story here on YouTube uh, that uh, is based on Gilligan's Island and uh, a story, a series of stories I created, The Time Hoppers. If you want to check that video out, you can find it by... Um, Entering this title in the search engine, The Time Hoppers Stranded on Gilligan's Island. Also, in the number two spot is The Addams Family, one of the best 1960s comedies and, again, a tremendous cast to boot. Based on Charles Addams' cartoons from The New Yorker, the show bore little resemblance to those cartoons. For two seasons, you could weekly tune in for loads of macabre fun. Gomez was masterfully portrayed by John Aston with lovely vampire-type uh, wife played by Carolyn Jones, Uncle Fester played by Jackie Coogan, Lurch by Ted Cassidy, and Grandmama by Blossom Rock, and all seemed to add a surreal and truly eerie element to the program. The Morrison household turned in every, tuned in every week during the uh, re, even during the rerun season of this show. And finally, number one.
and it could be none other than ABC TV's gothic horror soap opera Dark Shadows. Debuting in June 1966, the program quickly took the nation by storm with the introduction of 200-year-old vampire Barnabas Collins, brilliantly played by Jonathan Frid. The show, which wove its way through many time periods and plagiarizing many of the classics, it ended its run unfortunately, on my birthday, April 2nd, 1971. I watched it from day one and never missed an episode. I remember making a trip with my dad and mom to Florida to visit my sister and her husband, who was in the Navy down there. And every day we were on the road, dad found a place to stop so I could watch that day's episode. I guess maybe I was a little bit spoiled. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Well, that's my top five favorite TV shows of the 1960s. There were a lot of a lot of others. I mean, really classic shows. The Invaders, for example, which was awesome. Um, hey, I have an idea. Why not share your favorite shows uh, in the comment section below? Thanks for stopping by, and God bless. Oh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.